I'm really good at procrastinating. Like really good. Like, just trust me, I'm really good. Now the oven. Hey friends, how are we doing? How am I? So fine, thank you for asking. Okay, so here's my plan. It is 10.30 p.m. I've been at uni all day and then I came home and I've done nothing. And so now <laughs> I wanna try and get something done. I'm gonna bring my mannequin here and I'm just gonna try and drape something because I have an assessment and I've just gotta make something. So we're gonna start that. <laughs> Probably not a dress because that just seems excessive right now. It's due in two weeks, maybe a top. Look, we're gonna make it up as we go. I don't really know, just we'll see. So like the traditional way of designing is you get all your inspo. I need a nap. You get all your inspiration, you get your concept, you design stuff on paper, and then you make the thing that you designed to see how it works. To make a toile, which is essentially just practice, I guess, version of your design in a cheap fabric, usually calico, which is what I have here, to make sure that it works and that you like the proportions and you like the style. And if not, you edit it, you go back, make another toile. You just continue doing that until you like it. And this is called draping, which is when you drape the fabric on the stand to create your design. Now I'm draping without a design in mind. So I'm kind of just like free draping, making it up as I go. I do have inspiration sources that I'm working from, but I don't have one solid thing yet because I didn't want to design stuff. But that's all a process of trial and error, and that's how you get to where you want to go, I guess. I feel like I started this with a point. It's almost 1am and can't sleep. But like, it's the end of semester, what do you expect from me? So I figured why not try and drape some stuff. So sometimes I work better if I have parameters to work within. So I'm going to take some of my scraps and offcuts and pop them together on there and see what happens. Now that I've been missing got me feeling like I've lost all control. Every day you're missing got me thinking that I can't let you go. And she's still lost in my atmosphere Wanna blast off like Buzz Lightyear Baby girl, let me make this crystal clear Headed for the new age, full frontier Ay, Travel past my new solar systems Pushing past all gravity's limits You're the one that feeds all my spirits Fly away, girl, you got the ticket Shift in this place, got me feeling Truth I'm messed up Baby, do I feel my Yes, it's like late at night. I don't know why anyone would expect any less of me at this stage. So you've probably seen me drape a couple of outfits so far for the one assessment. I think I'm up to attempt number five or six. I actually like the design that I'm working on. So we're going to start making a prototype. Hopefully this will be the real deal now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've lost all control Every day you're missing Got me thinking that I can Hey friends, welcome back It's been a few days I have an assessment due tomorrow Which is a completed prototype Which for me is a skirt that you've been seeing me doing For like two weeks now I decided on this panel skirt So I'm going to sew that together today There are 20 panels So 20 pattern pieces that I need to sew together your basic skirt will have three. I've kind of got my work cut out for me. Just like knowing me personally, I have a feeling that I'm gonna, you know, rather than putting pattern piece one, pattern piece two together, I'm gonna put pattern piece one and pattern piece three or something and then it's not gonna work. So I just, I really need to be focused for this and that's not my strong suit. So I'm gonna go and make another coffee and have my third coffee of the morning. Basically just like to make it harder on myself. I've decided to make all my seams exposed. So usually where you sew two pieces together, you have a seam 
And they go on the inside of your clothing because that's like the final polished look of where the two pieces come together, right? I want to see it. I want to use it as a design element. But that means that the right sides together and then you sew so that when you open it up and you're looking at both the right sides, the seams on the wrong side. So that means that I now have to put all of my wrong sides, no, yes, wrong sides together so that when I sew and open it up, when I'm looking at the right side, the seam is on the right side of the fabric. Basically, it's just going to be really easy for me to screw this up, especially if I'm not concentrating. And I'm not concentrating. <laughs> I have the pattern pieces around the wrong way. This is already a disaster. So this is the somewhat completed skirt. I still want to fray all of these a bit more. This is actually meant to be the back, but I kind of like it as the front, so I don't think fashion has to be something like that runs exactly how you initially think it to. There's always room for new ideas to come, and if that's from putting something on back to front, then like, cool, dude. So that is the skirt. One of my favorite things about it is that it's adjustable so it can be worn anyway. There's really no front or back or side but because the panels are all different. It doesn't really matter which way you have as the front or the back. So as well as it being able to be worn in any way, I'm also gonna make it reversible. So I think the outside's gonna be denim and then the inside I'm going to print one of my artworks onto some fabric and have that as the inside fabric. So it's gonna have a million different ways that it can be worn, it's gonna be really versatile. I think it's really cool. In the end, I actually really like it. Still some tweaking to do before I use it for my collection, but I think it's a pretty cool piece. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, guys. I have no idea what that video ended up being. Bit of a mess, really, but that's kind of my life at the moment. Chuck me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it or you wanna see some more from me. Head over to my Instagram page, for everything creative, which is Larissa the label. And that's got all my artwork um, and all of my designs and everything on it on there. Well, yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't really like it when I hold her. <laughs> this is Schnapps. She loves me, I swear. Oh my God. <laughs> that's really fun for me. I love that. Fabulous. Right. Love that for me.